we believe time is linear, a thing that only moves forwards, never backwards. I mean, of course, time is always going forwards. One, two, three. In that matter of time, three seconds have passed. That's three seconds of time, gone forever. But what if I were to tell you there were beings in this world that don't live in time? There is a fourth path for the super monkey, a hidden secret path, a monkey that has transcended time itself. It is time, my friends. We're gonna be doing the fourth path super monkey. Look at him. Oh yeah, super monkey fourth path upgrades. What if the super monkey had a fourth path? Oh my gosh, these upgrades look so cool. I'm not even gonna click on them. I don't want to be spoiled. I already saw what I already saw kind of what they are, but this looks so good. I we can't even buy it though. It's two thousand or two thousand seven hundred dollars. So I love the fourth path series that we do for these. I think the fourth path is just like so much fun because it just like it, it gives you like a what if. Like, what if we could have another fourth path for a tower? And it's just a way to, like, experience and have a bunch of cool new things. And I absolutely love it. We've done a bunch of fourth path things already. And if you want to see more fourth path towers, well, let us know in the comments section down below. This has been made by one of a, actually, like, a new up-and-coming modder. I haven't seen a lot of their work, which is Zukoix. I, I actually don't know how to pronounce their name, which I think is kind of silly. But they have been making some amazing mods. So huge shout-out to them. They because these mods have just been so much fun. Genuinely just like an absolute blast to try out all of their mods. And I've just been having like so much fun with this. I have to get this super monkey down right now. Why did I not? Why do I have? I'll just put the super monkey right here. Boom. All right, here's our fourth pass. So we need the first upgrade, which is seeking darts. That's actually so nice. So now we have the seeking darts. Oh, well, we don't have it just yet. I have to save up $800. Which, considering, isn't actually that expensive. So, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Oh, look at that. No, wait, wait. That looks so weird. A green super monkey? He's in a green costume. That's bonkers. Super darts cost $12,000. Super darts have the ability to pop every balloon type and deal more damage. Okay, you know what? I'm actually about that. I'm super about that. I don't even want to think about how expensive these upgrades are gonna be. Fourth path super monkey is probably gonna be redonkulously crazy expensive so we're gonna have to start just like saving up some money so i'm gonna get valuable bananas because you all know valuable bananas like it's just it's in the word okay valuable bananas okay bananas are made out of solid gold okay that's what i'm talking about all right could you imagine is there like did somebody has anyone ever made like a banana out of like solid gold like, is this a thing that's happened? A 24 solid gold banana flower bracelet for $15,000? Oh my, are those been, oh my gosh, those are actually bananas. Who would do this? Oh, at least it gets free shipping. Okay, at least we got that. I feel like that's really extreme. Like, and, and what I mean by that is like, things like, even if you have like all the money in the world, I feel like spending like fifteen thousand dollars on something you wear on your brace like your wrist just seems like not that great right i don't know maybe that's just my personal thing i'm more of a not believing in material objects to bring you happiness type of person surprisingly enough something that i learned is when i first started growing on youtube and started like growing and like i guess blowing up on youtube and this is back when i was getting to like a hundred thousand subscribers oh my goodness all right <clears throat> having a little bit of troubles here i'm gonna put down a Bomb shooter, extra range frag bombs, and then I'm gonna put that down before I continue my story and before we inevitably lose here, which would have been a little bit embarrassing. What I started realizing was the bigger I got on YouTube, the, the sadder I was getting. Not sadder, but like, I was like, man, I'm making it, but I don't feel any different. I still felt like me, and I was not like, I really wasn't happy. I, it's not that I was ungrateful. I would just like kind of confused and I it's taken a little bit of time but it's come to the realization that like I want to just be happy no matter who I am or wh what I'm doing right I was like looking to other people and analytics and things for validation when and honestly like you're awesome right you as a person are a really cool person and you're unique and you're you and you should be able to be pretty happy with that and it takes time i think i don't know why i just went on a full-on rant with that but anyways back to balloons which we need to start getting this guy upgraded we only have one on the seeking darts which isn't good we need more we need to get some more shmoney okay big shmoney here let's get rid of these ugly trees yeah we're losing some lives but luckily since we have the marketplace we actually make money pretty quickly 
so I don't think we have too big of a problem here. I'm gonna get Recursive Cluster on that. Getting Recursive Cluster is gonna be a huge change. Do I save up? I think... I actually think I should save up to get the Banana Research Facility. Oh, no, but the Moab's gonna show up. I'm getting the Super Darts. Oh my gosh, there's a Super Monkey and a Black Cape. Neon Darts, $91,000. Wait, oh my, those darts look so cool. Look at that. Uh, is he like super strong now? Do we need these? Can we sell these guys? I don't know if it's a good idea to sell them. I'm gonna, should I sell them? I sold them. I mean, he looks, he's pretty powerful. Super darts are way stronger because so now they do deal more damage. So I'm gonna go ahead, banana research facility, which now that we have one banana research facility, by the way, neon, oh my gosh, you can't hit camo balloons. Why can't you hit camo balloons? My friend, my friend, you can't hit camo balloons? I'm gonna lose. I actually think I just lost. I think I just lost. I lost. You can't hit camo balloons? It says right here. Pop every balloon type, every balloon type right there. I can't believe it. I feel robbed, okay? I feel cheated. Okay, <laughs> I don't have enough money to get it. Oh wait, no, I don't need. I don't need MIB. Okay, I was about to have. I was. My brain was about to just go. Pfft. Oh, look at that! Look at how cool those darts are. I actually lo think that looks so satisfying. I want an entire tower that looks just like that, like that super like cartoony like type of tower. I think would be so cool. All right, another banana research facility. We're gonna need so much money. It feels like. Because this is only that. Neon darts. Neon darts deal greatly increased damage and pierce. But that's so expensive. Let's get both of these up to a banana research facility. Wait. Hi, here's my question. You know, I just thought about this. But why is it called a banana research facility? That doesn't... Are, why are they researching bananas? What is there to research? The, oh my gosh. This guy's doing a pretty good job, actually. Yeah, what is there to research of bananas? Like... <laughs> is it just a bunch of monkeys in like lab coats with bananas going? Yeah, that's a banana and put, puts it into the crate. <laughs> I hope so. That would be so funny. There we go. Here, we can put two race buttons out. Boom. There we go. Now we got the double race button. It's time for the neon darts. Let's go. All right, neon darts. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest super monkey I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen a cooler super monkey. I love that. Wait, Chrono, $300,000 gains an ability that permanently increases attack speed for all Chrono super monkeys by 5%, but restarts the round? What? Wait, what? Okay, let me, so, gains an ability that permanently increases all att increases attack speed for all Chrono super monkeys. So we need to get more Chrono super monkeys. And they're $300,000? That is so expensive. That is crazy expensive. Okay, so that tells me that I need to get Banana Central, Central Market, Central Market, Central Market. All right, there we go. And we need to start getting way more money. If we're gonna need to get like a bunch of these then, because, and who even knows how much the T5 is gonna cost. So that's gonna be kind of, kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, it's $300,000. Okay, we can actually send some more. And now, so here's Chrono. Whoa! That looks so radical, Dadical. Okay. The, the, oh, wait. We have the ability now. So it, wait, just happened. So I did that. Oh, my gosh. It literally reset the round. Look, we, we just fought those. But now that we use the Chrono, he actually attacks faster. So wait. So we do this. And look, we reset the round again. So now, boom. It's round 63 again. We're literally, we're like in Groundhog Day where we're just playing the, wait, but we can use this to make infinite money. Cause, cause look, we're still making money. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. This is the coolest mod I've ever played on. I love this. I love the fact that I can just use that. And look, we're still, we're still on round 63. And what's really nice is round 63 is a relatively short round. So that way we can just like play the round over and over and over again. And look, like we're still going. And remember, so every time we do this, he actually attacks 5% faster. Which I think is pretty awesome. So we can use this to actually just like skip rounds. And I'm trying to make some more money because past, present, future, <laughs> future. Past, present, and future. I love how, okay, the past, present, and future are all controlled by this monkey. Gains an ability that increases attack speed permanently by 20%. But moves you back around, gains an ability to move ahead around. What? All right, I need to get $2 million, though. We're at $1.2 million. So we're making money pretty quickly, pretty efficiently, but we're not there just yet. 
We gotta, we gotta believe. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're almost at round. All right, there we go. Round 80. Here we, we can continue the round. Okay. Past, present, and future. Because because they put an R in the in the, the thing. I love. It feels like every time there's just one typo, but it's like a really really funny typo. All right, let's have this guy kind of just destroy all these balloons. He's actually not that powerful. Let's upgrade. Okay, we're gonna upgrade him. Yo, he literally just becomes like pitch black. And so now, okay, so what's this? So we won, but we're not done yet. We ain't we ain't done. So that I think that's so this sends us back one round. And I also what I want to do is I'm gonna get a submarine because submarine decreases the cooldowns of everything. And plus having a submarine right here is gonna be cool. And then I'm gonna get that because then it turns it red, which is really nice. So boom, so it sent us back to round 81, but now he attacks even faster, right? And is he like crazy strong now? And look, so this ability will just send us ahead one round. So I can do that, which resets the round. It said, look at that. Wait, do you think we can use this to get back to round one? Do you think we can go backwards now? I bet we can. I wonder, I wonder if we can go all the way back. So round 88, round 87. It might be a problem for rounds that go really, really fast, like the ZOMG rounds and stuff. So let's see, round 87. Let's see if we, I'm trying to go backwards. I want to see if I can like go. All right, boom, round 86. We're literally going backwards and we're still making money. We're, ma we're making money by going back in time. What a weird concept. This is messing with my brain. Boom, and he attacks faster. Wait, so we can do this though. And that sends us ahead one round. What is happening? My brain's melting. Okay. Let's see how powerful this guy is. Let's send all the way up to round 100. Let's send round 100 again. Look at this. So now, look at that. We have to deal with round 100 two times. Wait, there we go. I'm gonna res I'm gonna reset the round again. There we go. Uh oh. Wait, what are you doing, my sir? All right, let's reset. Look at that. We're <laughs> we're in we're in Groundhog Day where we have to go up against round 100 over and over and over and over again. Like we've sent him back in time so many times. His attack speed must be bonkers. Uh oh. Oh, I think I sent way too many rounds. Yeah, I sent way too many things. So, in terms of cash, the, the monkey cost $2 million. It's probably not worth it because it seems like it's only 20% increased speed every time you get the actual upgrade. So, it's probably not worth it to, to actual, like, money-wise. But in terms of awesomeness, yeah, that's worth it. That's so cool. Please, hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. 